Brad, and thanks for taking me up with you in the, in the, the machines here. Um, I know we've had a lot of snow in the last few days, and you guys have been out since the Kakadon trying to get everything organised, get the peace, have the snow, chipping ice, and uh, not an easy job. Where are we kind of at now, Adam? We've uh, caught a lot of snow from the southeast, so it's fair filled in on the Traverse, and the M1 piece has caught a fair bit. The M1 tow track's looking quite good for the weekend. I've uh, just been down there digging that out. Um, it's a bit thin at the bottom, but it should be enough snow to operate. So. Oh, oh, that's excellent. So you really think, um, looking at the M1, looking at the zigzag, looking at the Polar Express, that there is um, a good chance? There's enough snow, hopefully, that we can get a ski run to the middle. The zigzags are still pretty thin just now, yeah. but I think on the M1 piece we should be able to connect that to the, back to the middle station. Yeah, and has it been a good help with the new fencing, Adam? Is that really yeah. gathering the snow holding it for us? Well, we can see up here the new fencing catches oh, yeah. four or five times more snow than the old style fencing. That's and quite amazing. We, we see it first hand, all the groomer drivers are up here, they see what, what's caught um, every night by the old fencing and the new fencing and it's uh, there's just no comparison at all really. Uh, no, and what about the toes Adam? I know you were having some issues there with ice and well, quite seriously so. The top lift's got seriously iced up but we just couldn't get near it to uh, get the ice in it. It was too windy up here and too dangerous to have the guys out. Yeah. Um, we got most of it off yesterday, most of the weight off. We've just gone back out again yeah. to try and get some more off it so it doesn't build up even worse but uh, yeah. it's you get a weather window of a couple of hours they can get out there and you know just grab the opportunity when they can. Yeah I've seen it's that. I'm too windy to run the lifts it's just uh, even for the guys climbing the towers to knock the ice off it's just borderline so they'll make a judgment when they're up there if it's safe to work or not. Yeah, no, I, I mean, actually, I'm really enjoying being up here with you guys and seeing it firsthand because the amount of work and effort that goes into just even getting to where we are today. And I know we've got a lot of people out there, season pass holders, ski schools and everything, desperate to get up the hill for a bit of ski. So I'm absolutely amazed at what you've achieved just in this last few days. So, um, yeah, perfect, Adam. It's still very thin in places down there, you know, yeah. when you get down to the top of the gun barrel, so the level, it's very thin from there down. But we're due quite a lot of snow overnight tonight and most of the day tomorrow. And then by Friday I think we're supposed to clear up a bit, so it's looking quite promising that we'll have some good skiing. So do you think on Friday we'll be able to go the M1, maybe the um, time again? Uh, yes, we're looking at doing that. We'd put out some temporary fencing in the Tarmigan Bowl to try and catch some extra snow there. Uh, because the wind was just stripping it off, and that's that's worked overnight. Um, the guys have been in there to push the snow out of that fence in a little while. Um, as far as the keys is concerned, we haven't been down there at this point in the day, but we'll get down there later. Yeah. No, that's excellent, right? Well, let us get back up there, Adam. You can drop me off and I'll let you go on with your work. It's right, brilliant, brilliant what the guys are doing. Thanks, Adam. No worries. Cheers.